on, guys. What's going on, my friends? Welcome to episode number two of the game game. I am currently getting ready for the gym, and um, today a package came in. I ordered some supplements from my protein. Not a sponsored video at all. I just ordered it there because I felt like, why not? Beta alanine, BCA, citrulline malate, and uh, whey protein. So the reason I have this beta alanine and citrulline malate is because I wanted to try to make my own little pre-workout cocktail thing. So we're gonna try that today <laughs> since we're doing deadlifts and I feel like when deadlifting you can use a pre-workout, you know? Um, now I use just G Fuel, which is not really a pre-workout. It's more of a focus drink. So I never had the jitters or never had a really the good pump because of it, because the, the stuff in there is not, so it's, not, it's like not enough. So let's just make this. Also, I know I need to wash this bat. It's disgustingly dirty, but I just don't want to go to the hair, get a haircut and I just don't want to do my hair right now. That's all unflavored, except for the BCAs. It's a uh, blue raspberry flavor. So hopefully this is good, like I have no idea. This could, could either go very wrong or like very well. Um, the scoop is very little, so that means you don't put in too much. So that's one. And that's two. Oh, this one is bigger. So I'll have one scoop of this then. It's like crystally, it's like almost like sugar-ish. I feel like, uh, it almost feels like I'm, I'm like literally making meth right now. And then last but not least, the BCAs. So I have a scoop of that. And then I should be good to go. Okay, it looks so suspicious. <laughs> it's like literally liquid meth right now. Look at the color too. Obviously it's blue since the blue raspberry, but like, <laughs> oh my God. If this goes wrong, may I die in peace. Okay, am I drinking this now? Okay, fuck it. We're just gonna do it. I'm like literally trying this out right now. Oh, I'm already... Dude, no fucking way I already feel the jitters in my lips. No fucking way. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, I have a Snickers bar. Uh, we're gonna get going to the gym. I'm already hyped. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to episode number two, commentary part of this video. Today, we're gonna go over the back and bicep workout that I'll be doing during this game game. The game game, episode two, we're starting off with deadlifts. We're getting back into deadlifts. I'm so, so happy about it. Um, I've been, I did deadlifts for so long and I kind of stopped doing them for some reason and damn, it feels good to do deadlifts again. Um, deadlifts, three warm up sets, seven working sets, um, three times five, four times 10. Again, the same thing as with bench press. Um, and pretty much also the same thing with, with squats. I will go over that in the next video, but today we're gonna focus on the deadlift. Um, very clean form, always. So I did 110 kilos for three times five and four times 10 with 70 kilos, I think. Um, again, this is like one of the first times in like months that I've been deadlifting again. And I feel like when I stop deadlifting and I go back to, into it, it also, it takes me like a couple of weeks to like really get into it, but I get into it very, very quickly. So. Um, it, it felt very very good. The only thing is my grip was like like fucking with me, dude The grip was like yeah, I don't know I was struggling with the grip at some point so um, my grip was after the, the seven sets of deadlifts I was like completely gone with the grip so um, That's something I definitely have to work on but also using straps So uh, the grip is not that important But I did didn't use the straps for the four times ten since I didn't want to see if I could do that without straps uh, the next exercise is going to be a lat pull down. As you can see here, I am retracting the scapula and pulling down uh, through the elbows. This I'm doing with straps because I could never do it without straps because after this deadlift session, I was completely gone. Like my, my hands were hurting, so I really needed the straps, so that really helped me out here. Uh, lat pull down, we're focusing more on the lats. Obviously, we're doing a wide grip one, so uh, when pulling through the elbows, and, and squeezing the lats at the bottom is uh, is one of the best feelings with this lat pull down. And what I do know is, and what I do want you guys to do as well is go completely up 
completely stretch out the lats and then contract all the way down. Um, the full range of motion is very important when doing a lot of pull downs in my opinion and you're gonna feel the best when doing that. The next exercise is gonna be feet bar row um, or like a landline row, whatever you wanna call it. Um, by the way, the lat pull down three times eight. The, the work, full workout will be in description, uh, like I have like a Giazzo link, uh, so you can see what exactly what it is. Uh, but right now, uh, landline row, uh, back straight is very important, three times eight as well. Pulling through the elbows and keep your elbows close to your body as possible and retracting the scapula. So I'm trying to hit the mid trap section with this exercise a little bit more. So uh, that's why I do really focus on the retraction of the scapula and making sure my traps are activated. So uh, the first exercise for biceps will be a normal barbell curl. I do five sets of that with eight repetitions. Um, Barbell curls you know, are very easy, you know, uh, I think the last set that I did with barbell curls were like a little bit of a cheater set, this one is like a little bit more of like a momentum swing one, but I was completely gone after five sets, so um, the last one was like to completely rep it out, I guess, so um, a very hard exercise, I was struggling, but the pump was great and it felt really good, so I'm really happy with how it went, the second one is going to be a cable curls, now you can choose whatever thing you want to do, I chose the rope today, you can do straight bar, you can do whatever, um, but I, I wanted to do the rope since it's uh, like a neutral grip and it's a little bit different from the barbell which is a supinated grip or a pronated grip, I think supinated. Um, but yeah, finish that off with 5 times 10 which is very very hard. Um, but that's it for the workout, enjoy the rest of the video, I'm gonna talk a little bit more on my supplementation in this game game series. Enjoy. Ah, oh, oh, oh my no. This is not normal. Woo, that's better. So. A right, few things today. First of all, weigh in today. It was, um, I made a mistake. First things first, first day I made a mistake. I weighed in before I went to the bathroom, which I thought it was kind of high. I was like 67.8. I've been weighing myself like during the summer and like it's lost like 66, high 66. So I was like, huh, I don't know what the hell. So 70, 67, I was like, okay, sure. Then uh, today I weighed in, I was like 66.7. I was like, did I really just lose 1.1 kilos in one day? <laughs> Which is like madness. But obviously I did go after I go, went to the bathroom. So second of all, how did I think the pre-workout went? The, uh, the workout was amazing. I have, I had such a tough workout. The workout schedule that I made for myself is so, so tough. And I really love it because I love pushing myself in the gym. And um, it's just, it's amazing. Honestly, it's like, the beta, beta alanine citrulline malate, I like kind of randomly did two score, two of one scoops, um, but it felt amazing. I felt the jitters, not too much though, so that's good. And um, I felt like I had good energy, but I'm now I'm like completely drained. So I do want to eat my skier now, um, some some proteins after the workout, and. Um, after that, I'm just gonna freshen up a little bit. I think I'm gonna hit shower and then we're gonna go over supplementation for my bulk. It's not gonna take a very long time to talk about supplementation because it's not that complicated and I don't use that much stuff. But I wanted to go over a few things that are essential and a few things that could help you, um, you know, with your goals. So uh, let's eat this and then I'll check in with you guys in a couple minutes. Let's go over the supplements. So let's just go over it. It's very simple actually like not that hard six things that I want to go over okay the first thing is G Fuel I take G Fuel as a focus drink it's with caffeine so when I need the energy boost when I'm tired on on moments like this at like seven o'clock after a leg day I might be tired but I have some stuff to do or I want to go out with my friends or my girlfriend is coming or whatever uh, and I need a little bit of a boost and then I take G Fuel um, G Fuel is awesome for that it tastes so good there's like a million flavors and um, yeah 100% uh, recommend G Fuel for stuff that it helps you focus, it gives you energy, and um, it's not a gym supplement product. They do have a 24K pre-workout, which I've used for uh, for a very long time, but I'm currently out of it. That's one is empty as well, so which has a little bit more of the stuff that's in here in that as well. But I wanted to try out to blend and mix my own uh, pre-workout because want to try it out um, since the G Fuel one doesn't have enough of the these products to like really really get me going you know there is caffeine in there there's beta alanine there's citrine and malate and there are amino acids in there as well but um, not in the right serving in my opinion so so the cocktail blend that I make with my pre-workout is quite easy it's citrulline malate it's beta alanine 
and BCA. <clears throat> so branch chain amino acids. So all these three pretty much promote blood flow to the muscle um, when you're working out, um, helping repair. So when you're training, you're breaking down the muscle fiber in the muscle cell. Um, these products help you rebuild that in a quicker sense. So um, in between sets, you might have need one to two minutes before um, you think, hey, I'm good to go. Um, taking this, it can help you recover faster in between those. It can also help you um, push out those last reps. So if you're struggling on 10 and 11, this will might help you to get to 12 or 13, you know? Um, this BCA is flavored and the other ones are unflavored. So I add the BCA um, because that's flavor because I don't want to just drink a random non-flavored drink. So this is blue raspberry flavored, which I recommend it's really good. And also have creatine and I um, put my creatine in the shake of life. That's the shake with oats, with um, fruit, with protein, uh, whey protein. And uh, I also put creatine in there. Um, so yeah, the last thing is a whey protein. It doesn't really matter for what brand you take it. Just do some research online and you'll find a good brand. Uh, usually uh, stuff like my protein, like the bigger ones are usually the better ones since they're big for a reason, I feel like. Yeah, so do some research. I have a whey isolate um, protein. It's uh, 21 grams of protein per scoop. So uh, very easy and very nice. I mean, for my goal right now is to grow and whatever, you don't need supplements at all. You don't need supplements at all. You don't need supplements for any goal that you might have, either it's losing weight or gaining muscle or shredding down or whatever, feeling more fit. You don't need supplements. Supplements are an addition to your diet. So if your diet is shit and you do supplements, you might as well just have a good diet and don't do any supplements because the difference will be so little the supplements will make. So when your diet is on point and you know you're doing good on diet, the supplements can take you that step further. Um, so I would only recommend taking supplements or buying supplements if you already know your diet and training is on point. The creatine that I have is a creatine monohydrate. I do recommend that. You don't need a loading phase for that. A lot of people advertise that like you need four scoops in the first week or something. That's just dumb and bullshit and it doesn't make sense. And it's unproven, like it's proven not to work that way. It's not needed that way. Uh, it's just so you buy the product earlier and more because you use it more. So don't do any loading stuff. Uh, with pre-workout though, I would say is try it out for four weeks and then step off of it. It's like coffee. So a lot of people drink, who drink coffee are like in the morning, like I cannot function unless I have a cup of coffee. Same kind of goes with pre-workout. If you're depending on a pre-workout to get a good workout, I would recommend just cycling every four weeks or every eight weeks because it kind of sucks because when you don't have it, you already have a like a shit workout, which is kind of annoying. So. Um, creatine, you don't have to cycle at all. Thanks for checking out this video, guys. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you have any more ideas for the series, let them know down below in the comments. And um, thank you so much for the love on the first episode. I really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed this one as well. See you guys later.